Hey guys, uh, bringing you a commentary on the map of Discovery. It's uh, the new map in the new First Strike map pack, and I really enjoy it. This is one of my favorite maps by far. Um, this is my uh, this is my first playthrough on it, so expect some new moves and me getting lost a bit. But what basically happened? We got the A side. Wait, we got the C side spawn, and basically what I did is I stuck to the right, even though I went uh, I kind of went left here. But basically, I, st I stuck to like I only stuck to one side of the map. There's another side of the map with like a giant pipeline that runs straight across. I didn't go anywhere near that. I saw people running across because it's totally out in the open. I suggest you avoid it at all times. What I just ran across is that little bridge there. It turns out if you destroy the bridge, like even if even if the bridge gets destroyed, you can still like hop over it. So it's kind of a a useless destructible object. And as I pick this guy up here, being stealth as I am, and I uh, continue on. So um, my thoughts on this this map it's it's very it's I don't know I think it's my favorite map out of all of them right now. Because it, it like provides a lot of like long lines of sight for those people who have like a good long range game. Unfortunately, with the Famas, I'm not too good. And if you like flank around the side, like I'm like I do later on, it's um really use. It's like you really it puts you in a lot of close range engagements. These rocks are really good cover. <laughs> yeah, like that. So the Famas is I think the Famas is one of the best guns for this map. Probably another one would be the Commando or the AK-47. Um, Sunny for you probably a beast because it's a beast in every map. Anyway, so yeah, um, what I suggest is when starting this, I'm, I'm just like trying to jump and all that. What I suggest is when starting this, you um, kind of look, you kind of like take the sides of the map around. I stay in this building for a bit, not really camping, but I figure they're spawning like right to the left of me, so I just kind of stay out, stay here, and pick them off. I see that other guy, and I don't think I can get him. Okay, I think he gets me because I stay out for too long. But yeah, so um, this map it's it's really nice to look at. It doesn't really have too many distracting sounds and all that, and it's not like the Kowloon where a giant like B-52 flies over and goes. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, get cleaned up by that guy, unfortunately, and I go straight back. I go straight back to my side. Um, even though that bridge in the center is destructible, it's it's the fastest way to get like across the map diagonally. But to get straight across the map, I think the sides are more useful. There's there's two like paths on the sides, and there's the middle bridge and the bridge straight across like a diagonal. So um. Br the, the underside bridge is useful and it never does like officially cut you off entirely even if it does break you can still hop over it dolphin dive whatever you want make it classy <laughs> and uh yeah that's about it <laughs> so um i think if you guys are like hesitant about buying the map pack, it, it's, it's a pretty good deal i i bought it mainly for the zombies but these maps are pretty nice Ooh, nice long shot right there <laughs> like kim burton just like can <laughs> all right all right all right i'm gonna stop there um, but yeah, it's like, it's a really nice map, it's a really good buy for your buddy, like, bang for your buck. The zombies map, I think, is worth it all on its own, I buy any zombie map, because I'm a fanboy like that. But, um, yeah, spawns flip here, and I'm just like, where am I going? I like, I like to stick around, there's like, these nice clipping spots around these barrels and rocks, so, um, use them to your advantage. Anyway, so, like, this map is a really good buy, because, personally, the zombie maps, um, stadium is kind of like a, hmm, we'll call it, what should we call it, we'll call it favela, favela, kind of, because it has a couple high grounds, and it's kind of close quarters most of the time, but it's like favela from Modern Warfare 2. Do I stun myself twice here? <laughs> no, okay, I cheese on this guy, because I'm a pro. <laughs> and, um, Kowloon is, is, it's really multi-level, which is, is, is really nice to do. I don't know, I, I just, it's, it's, it's like, it's like, flanking is so much easier in Kowloon, because there's so many people that fail really hard here. Oh, no, I get him. Yeah, yeah, win! <laughs> And, uh, Berlin Wall is just, just, I don't know, I don't know, we, 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 we found, like, a way to get around the whole No Man's Land thing, you could throw smoke to it, and in the cannon can only shoot at one guy at once, so, um, yeah, that's okay. And, uh, <laughs> this map is by far my favorite, I'm pretty sure I already said that, but, uh, yeah. So, um, it's, it's a snowy map, so, Ghost would probably be recommended just because it'll help you blend in a bit better, <laughs> people won't see you as often. Damn, how many bullets I wasted that guy? And <laughs> other than the strategies for that, we have, there's a few like um, special clipping spots that we like discovered. Uh, if you want, I'll if, like leave in the comments if you want to see those. I'll, I'll make a damn second chance, kid. I'll leave in the comments if you want to see that. I'll make like a video of uh, us. We have we have a couple footages of us like using the clipping spots, and just how to get there. And we got like a jumps thing worked out too for like special jumps in the map. There's no special way to cap B in this map, but like the B flag like affords a lot of cover, anyways. So it's kind of like if. Hmm. Well, what map can I relate this to? I have no idea. <laughs> but but I don't know. It's just this is just an like overall good map. It's not like too cornery, like uh, bailout, what no, or like what's it called um scrapyard or whatever. I don't know. I forgot uh, salvage. There you go. Salvage from Modern Warfare Two. Th this whole DLC map pack is way better than anything Modern Warfare Two put out. It's it's not like like really cornery. Like you can um 
you can sit and like see like totally around the corner you, you don't turn blind corners basically but by blind corners i mean you just you don't turn and like have right angles so you can you can expect to turn up the corner and then you see like shadows and all that um other tips for this map oh other tips for like just starting out run uav and, and run with it run with the buddy or two <laughs> uav will help you like realize where they are so even if you don't know where you're going you'll know where they are so you can like you know like avoid them or go to them so uav is really useful blackbird's always a help uh, i was running a uh, uav counter uav and uh damn knife <laughs> i was running uav counter uav and uh napalm i think I'm not too sure I could have been UAV Napalm Blackbird. I don't get the Blackbird this came up. <laughs> if you look up, if you looked up at the top there, you see the like the Northern Lights or something, just like in the distance. That's pretty nice. It's a really nice looking map. This entire set, it kind of like they pushed away from the whole like drab and dreary thing, and they 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 made it a lot more colorful, which which I really like. I appreciate that. And uh, oh god, you guys have to try the zombie map. It's so fun. It's the biggest thing ever. Like, <laughs> it's it's kind of ridiculously huge. Um, this, that, that line of sight that I was right there, that's really good for, um, just guarding B and that left flank, uh, if you have the A spawn, and, um, yeah, this building right here, I think it's, it'll be pretty good to control if you're spawn trapping, the building to the right to the left of me, and that pipeline, never run across that pipeline that I'm shooting that guy at, even though I can't shoot, if you get someone who with a good long shot, he'll pick you off clean, because, and I get the final kill here, but he'll pick you off clean, because, um, it's, it's totally on the open, you have no cover whatsoever, so yeah, I get the final kill, and, uh, I go what 22 and or 20 and 5 on my first playthrough on this map, and I'm just not bad. So just uh, those are some tips for starting on new maps, and I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more like first strike content and all that. And uh, comment if you want to see comment and tell me what you want to see, and subscribe if you think I'm sexy. Later.